lockdown or not, our God is still God and He's still good. Let's join in praise as we worship. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, yeah. We worship you, Lord. Lord, you, Lord, you are good and your mercy endure forever. Lord, you are good. Say, Lord, you are good and your mercy endure forever.
translation psalm 91 when you sit enthroned under the shadow of shaddai you are hidden in the strength of god most high he's the hope that holds me and the stronghold to shelter me the only god for me and my great confidence he will rescue you from every hidden trap of the enemy and he will protect you from false accusation and any deadly curse. His massive arms, they're wrapped around you, protecting you. You can run under his covering of majesty and hide. His arms of faithfulness are a shield, keeping you from harm. You'll never need to worry about an attack of demonic forces at night, nor have to fear a spirit of darkness coming against you. In fact, don't fear anything. Whether by night or by day, demonic danger will not trouble you, nor will the powers of evil launched against you. Even in a time of disaster, with thousands and thousands being killed, you will remain unscathed and unharmed. You will be a spectator as the wicked perish in judgment for they will be paid back for what they have done. 
When we live our lives within the shadow of God Most High, our secret hiding place, we will always be shielded from harm. How then could evil prevail against us, or disease infect us? God sends angels with special orders to protect you wherever you go, defending you from all harm. If you walk into a trap, they'll be there for you and keep you from stumbling. You'll even walk unharmed among the fiercest powers of darkness, trampling every one of them beneath your feet. For here is what the Lord has spoken to me. Because you have delighted in me as my great lover, I will greatly protect you. I will set you in a high place, safe and secure before my face. I will answer your cry for help every time you pray, and you will find and you will feel my presence, even in your time of pressure and trouble. I will be your glorious hero and give you a feast. You will be satisfied with a full life and with all that I do for you, for you will enjoy the fullness of my salvation. Amen. I hope you really enjoyed and received that Psalm 91. It is such a strength into our soul, into our body. And in this time and season, we got to pray more for the wisdom. And as you heard tonight, Psalm 91, keep praying that prayer. I just want to quickly go over that and talk about just a couple of points from Psalm 91. Psalm 91 is a psalm of God's assurance of protection. It's a psalm where there's a surety of God's protection over our life. Now, theologians talk about the fact that did David write this or Moses write it? Of course, there's equal arguments to whether this is a psalm written by Moses or if this is a psalm written by David. I tend to go with David based on what, what I see in similar words that are used, but it could be either Moses or David. But whichever one wrote it, I believe it's a spirit of, I believe the spirit of God wrote it through them. It's an incredible psalm of God's protection, how he cares for us. Now, in the first two verses, there's a tremendous um, assurance from God about his protection. He talks to us, that, you know, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. You know, to be under the shadow of anything, you got to be in some close proximity. And we are in that close proximity to our Heavenly Father, to be under His shadow. And so what happens here, I was trying to look at the TPT translation, it's beautiful as Pastor John's read that to us. But I'm such a person with the new King James just flowing out of my tongues. I'm really struggling because it's, um, it is what I'm so used to reading. And so here he says in verse 2, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, my God in Him, I will trust. Look at verse 3. Surely, surely. So verse 3 and 4, verse 1 and 2 tells us, God is assuring us, there is a protection available for you. Now what happens in verse 3 and 4? The explanation comes forth as to how God is going to protect us. And from what God is going to protect us. Look at this. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler. From the trickery, from the snare. That the devil meant the traps of the Satan. Surely. That's one of the things that he is going to protect us from. He will protect us from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. Whatever plagues may come, this is what he assures us. I will protect you from the trap that Satan is laying for us and from the perilous pestilence. Now, how is he going to do that? So what is he going to protect us from? From the snare of the fowler, from the snare of the devil, 
and the perilous pestilence. Now, how is he going to protect us? Verse 4, he says, he will cover you with his feathers. You see, we already are under the shadow of the Almighty. He says, now he's going to get a little more closer. He'll cover us with his feathers. I don't know about you. I love watching the chicks gathered under the wings of the hen. And the Bible here so clearly says, this is how God's going to protect us. When the enemy comes against us, God's going to, cover, God's going to enlarge his, 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 uh, his covering and gather us like that. And what happens when a chick is under the hen's feathers, covered, covered. Everybody say covered. Covered. You can't see the chicks. I don't know if you've ever been in the poultry side of things. You know, I, uh, I, my mom used to have chickens and we had little chicks. And whenever a big flying eagle or something went at the top, the hen would gather the chicks under the wings. And you couldn't see those chicks. It's as though they never were there. And that's what the Bible says. We are hidden in Christ. How is he going to protect us? He is going to cover us. We won't be visible to the snare. We won't be visible to the fowler. He will cover us. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. How is he going to protect us? We just hold up our shield which is the truth of God's words. So when we believe the truth and when we are assured of the protection of Jesus, we've got shield. So when the enemy comes in with its darts and foul words, the truth is the shield and the shield blocks us from getting in the way of the arrows that the enemy is going to shoot. And so, as a result, you saw what God is going to protect us from. We saw how he's going to protect us from. And in the part that we saw how he's going to protect us from, we see two parts. He is going to cover us so that we are invisible to the fowler. And we, we are like we don't exist to the pestilence. That means we are well covered. But the second part is we also have to apply the truth and hold the truth up. We have to hold the truth up because you see, as long as we are on this earth, we have a responsibility to not give room to Satan. So we do have to hold the truth up. Amen. Now, verse 6. As a result of his assurance to protect us, knowing what is going to protect us from and how he's going to protect us from. What is the result of this protection? The result of this protection is seen in verse 5. And that is, you shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day. You got your shield up to protect against the arrows. And you shall not be afraid of the terror by night because you covered. As a result, we will not be afraid. Now, when we have that, when we believe in this, when we believe in this assurance of protection that God is speaking to us, we believe. When we believe, what is going to protect us from? How is going to protect us from? And that he, he, he will protect us from it. We, as a result of that, we get fearless. We get fear out of our emotions. We get fear out of our mind. We're just like, okay, this thing is not going to come near me. Why? I shall not be afraid. Why? Because of the assurance of Shaddai. Now, there are four words used here for the Lord. In one psalm, all four of these words are used. The word Almighty is used, which is Shaddai. Almighty is Shaddai. El Shaddai 
is Elohim Almighty, is Almighty God, is El Shaddai. Then we have the word used here for God, is Most High, Elion. El Elion is Most High God, like Almighty God is El Shaddai. El Elion is Most High God. Then we have the Lord, which is Yahweh. Then we have God, which is Elohim. And we have Elohim, Yahweh, El Elyon. We have El Shaddai. We have all of those four incredibly powerful words for our Abba Father used in this one psalm. So God is backing himself up in the assurance to protect us. Because he is the one assuring us of his protection. What he's going to protect us from? How he's going to protect us from? As a result of believing in that, we become fearless. We, say, we shall not be afraid. Why? Not because fowler don't exist. Not because perilous times don't come. Not because of any of those things. We are not afraid because... El Shaddai, Adonai, Elohim, El Elyon, Yahweh is assuring us of protection. Amen. So as a result, verse 5, we shall not be afraid. Verse 6, look at this. This is what happens. As a result, verse 5 and 6, no, we shall not be afraid of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. Now then, from verse 7, we begin to see now that not only are we not afraid, something else happens. From verse 7 onwards, what we see is a confidence, is faith. A tremendous confidence that we never thought was possible. We get this confidence all of a sudden. There's a confidence. And look at the confidence with which the psalm is written from verse 7. A thousand may, may fall at my side. Ten thousand on the other side. Yet it shall not come near me. Look at that confidence. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. And then it goes on to say, because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the most high, your dwelling place or your habitation. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near you. You see how that confidence of the assurance is now, is now bubbling from inside, inside us by saying, God, I thank you. I'm not afraid, but not just that. Watch this confidence. Watch this confident confession. Nor shall any plague come near my dwelling. Come on, say this with me. No evil, no evil. Shall, befall me, shall befall me. Nor shall any plague, shall any plague come, near my dwelling. come near my dwelling. Now let's do it as us. No evil shall befall us. No evil shall befall us. Nor shall any plague, shall any plague come, near our dwelling. come near our dwelling. Amen. Now look at the confidence. Now the confidence doubles down. It says, for he shall give his angels charge over us, lest our foot dash against a stone. Watch how it all starts. It all starts with he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty God. When God's assurance of protection is upon our life, as a result of it, there is an incredible confident confession. Now when I say this incredible confident confession of faith, I am not saying an incredible confident con con confession of assumption. That was a mouthful. What I'm saying is a confident assurance of confession of faith, not of assumption. Because we dwell in the secret place of the Most High. It's not how much you know God in your head. It's how much you know God in your heart. That really does matter. How much you know Him. 
that you know you dwell in the secret place of the most high in their hands they shall bear you up talking about the angels lest you dash your foot against a stone you know he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways i mean confidence is doubling up tripling up quadrupling then it goes on to another level you shall now look at this now now the one that needed to be covered uh, under the feathers of the almighty god is become a superhero now because we are under the wings of the almighty god look at the courage you know you know like literally as children we have done this you know that your parents are next to you your friends can't beat you no more and you do something i don't know about you i've done some crazy stuff because i knew i wouldn't get into the trouble um true story my dad uh was a very very prominent head teacher uh, who would come to inspect other schools as well so he was an inspector as well as a head teacher so knowing his position there was a teacher who told me to do something differently and i i refused to do it It was not a nice thing to do but I did. I refused to do it. I I just said to her, "Listen, I'm not going to do it this way." Um and um I at that teacher was so infuriated. She 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 referred me to the head teacher because um I was just I was I I just point blank refused. So when she directed me to the head teacher, I went to the head teacher and I refused him too. I true story. I mean, the head teacher is still uh is a friend of my dad and uh, and uh, they they have been good friends of my parents for a long time so we still see them and uh i refused to do what he told me to i just said i'm i refuse to do it like this I, this is not the way i choose to learn and i will not learn it this way and so i uh, i'm not going to do it and he couldn't do anything because of who my dad was and i know in that indian culture i don't think anybody would have got away with it i did i had this incredible boldness because of who my father was so i went home and i told my father i refuse to do it that way uh, and my dad said okay so why do you refuse to do it i said this is a be- much better way of doing it and i want to do it this way and this is how i'm going to do it and um my dad said okay that's fine then you do it that way I said that's the whole thing sorted. So when you know who your dad is, somehow a boldness comes up that the rest of the school don't have. And so here look at this. Then verse 13 you shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample under foot. I mean this is like boldness going on the next level. Devil is a roaring lion and I'm ready to trample. Amen. Under foot. underfoot okay even if we don't go to this level of confidence can we have a greater level of confidence and a lot of us are exuberating right now don't get lock don't let lockdown get you down just master the lockdown just say i'm going to put my feet upon the lockdown i'm going to make this lockdown work for me i'm not going to i'm not going to get buried under lockdown i'm going to be on top of it because he has said now look at the blessings verse 14 to 16 talks about god's promises and blessing and this is really so so wonderful because he has set his love upon me therefore i will deliver him the main question that we have to ask ourselves is god how much do we love jesus because we have set our love on him he says therefore i will deliver him and i will set him on high because he has known my name he shall call upon me and i will answer him i will be, i will be with him in trouble and i will deliver him and honor him not only is deliverance our portion in and through all this god will honor us god will honor his church church of jesus christ is built upon a solid rock no gates of hell shall prevail against it not only will god deliver us he will honor us with long life i will satisfy you and show you my salvation i want to speak that over every one of us with long life he will satisfy you with long life he will satisfy you with long life he will satisfy you and he will show us his 
salvation, his saving hand upon all our lives. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So this is what we're going to do tonight. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. And we're going to call upon his holy name so that we receive the answer from God. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, God has laid this in his heart tonight. tonight so we want to hear what God put in your heart. Amen. Yes, Hallelujah. amen. You know, when uh, Pastor John and you were reading about Psalms 91, uh -huh. and I, I, it just jumped uh, out from this scripture. You were talking about the boldness and the way God yeah. is protecting and all those things. But it starts with he who dwells in the secret place. That means that the person who, uh, say for instance, I am dwelling. That means that I and God, I am Father God mm. are together sitting in one place. Amen. Amen. Yes, yes. And the way the, cha the, 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 yes. uh, the Psalms 91 finishes this is like in 15, he says that he shall call upon me. That means that I, uh, Father, you know, in the sense, I'm praying, yeah. I'm with him, I'm talking to him. Yeah. And I will answer. That means that he will respond. Yeah. It's like a prayer or it's like a conversation. Mm -hmm. So it's not like going away and doing my own stuff and come and give a list to right. him. Right. It is like I'm sitting with him. That's how it starts. Mm -hmm. In a, in a secret place. Yes. That means that nobody else is disturbing me. Yes. No iPhone is disturbing me. That's right. No YouTube mm -hmm. is disturbing me. Mm -hmm. There's nothing is disturbing me. I, am, right. I and my father, we are mm -hmm. sitting. It's like, you know, we are sitting and talking and we don't want anybody else to right. disturb while we are talking yes. about the family, about the children. Yeah. You know, not only that, talking about us. Yes. You know, we don't want anybody to be dis disturbing us. Yeah. And that's the relationship what Jesus wants, mm -hmm. you know, a... Uh, uh, non-disturbance yes. when we are talking with them not distracted yes not something coming in between right no thoughts no person mm -hmm. no nothing mm -hmm. comes in between when we are in that secret place mm -hmm. and uh, it finishes by saying that whenever i ask anything he will surely answer why can't we ask more of the holy spirit uh -huh. Uh -huh. more of something yeah. of him his yeah. nature yeah. not yeah. about you know you can ask anything what you want you can ask the list like fridge or freezer and all those you can you can ask jumbo jet but that's not the point here many people have fallen into that deception yes you can ask but that's not the actual joy which gives us mm -hmm. talking about him you know talking with him talking mm -hmm. about him talking about so when we know more about him mm -hmm. we know more about ourselves yeah. why we are created in this land yeah. why we are living in this land yeah but the but the revelation you I mean the word you want me to share is in Second Chronicles, uh, chapter seven. Mm -hmm. uh, I will read it for you. It's very powerful. It is very important that we need to pray. Yeah. It is very important. You know, when we spend time on other things, we are actually communicating and praying with that. <laughs> you know, and um, it is in Second Chronicles. It's so beautiful. Yeah. It's so beautiful how God comes and talks to Solomon, mm. gives a promise word to Solomon. And many people know uh, just a portion of it, but you need to, you need to know the full part, full depth of that scripture. Uh, so this is in Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse, yeah. verse 12 to 17, you want me 16. to read? 16. I will read till 16. You can carry on. You can read the uh, the verses, but it's amazing that Solomon prays before yeah. and God answers and the prayer Solomon prays is the promises Every promise given to yeah. David is the one he prays yeah. And he, even Solomon was not born at that time. What an amazing thing that he prays Solomon prays That means that his dad passed on that promise to the son yeah. And the son prays and see what God comes and answers that means that that pattern of mm. being in the secret place not just father the son also carries on continuing that and this is what god comes and talks to solomon saying that in um, second Chron chronicles 12 chapter 7 verse 12 chapter 7 verse 12 yes. uh, the lord appeared to solomon by night and said to him that is what is in psalms 91 verse 15 mm -hmm. he comes and talks he gives an answer 
I have I have heard your prayer. God will hear your prayer. Amen. When you pray. Hallelujah. When you sit in that Amen. secret place. Amen. I have chosen this place for myself as a house of sacrifice. Hallelujah. This is the temple. Mhm. Is God is talking about. And we can talk about that as our body. Our body as well. Mhm. Amen. Uh because there is the it is important that mm. brothers and sisters of of god gather together and pray but at the same time mm-hmm. our body is a temple of the most high mm-hmm. so yes it is uh in in both uh ways so then it continues the verse continues and says when i shut up heaven mm-hmm. here you go my brothers and sisters when i shut up heaven and there is no rain mm-hmm. or command the locusts to devour the land mm-hmm. or send pestilence among my people mm-hmm. if my people this mm-hmm. scripture so many people know because it, we can quote it mm-hmm. but we need to understand the depth of it mm-hmm. the way god explains if my people are we not his people hallelujah yes who mm-hmm. are we believing are we believing in something yeah. yes we are we are but we are believing in a person who is jesus christ hallelujah. so i am mm-hmm. chosen you are chosen mm-hmm. if my people who are called by my name Thank will you, humble Jesus. themselves amen we need to say that i don't care about anything else i need to separate myself to pray uh-huh. i'm humbling myself uh-huh. separating myself humbling myself i'm not giving me importance i want to give importance to be with and be in that secret place mm-hmm. i humble myself and i pray and seek my face god's face jesus Hallelujah. face of jesus christ and turn from all the wicked ways i don't want anything other than my jesus and anything other than what he wants turn away all my wicked ways and i will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin mm-hmm. so it, it's amazing that he forgives our sin okay. but he doesn't stop there he gives a, a powerful message and says that and i will hear i will hear heal. and heal the land, the land. that means that because we set apart our time it's not just our sin being taken away but because of we sacrificing our time with him it's not a sacrifice to be honest he's going to heal this land yes amen wow Hallelujah. heal this land mm. what a what a, a what a powerful promise amen. is that amen now my eyes will yes. be open uh-huh. and my ears attentive to prayer yes, Lord. to prayer Made, made in, in this, this place. place wow he's going to listen hallelujah. every word you speak he's going to listen every word i hallelujah utter. jesus for now i have chosen oh hallelujah and sanctified, sanctified this, house, this house that mm-hmm. my name may be there forever hallelujah it is sealed upon us oh, his name upon us mm-hmm. i am the temple of the holy ghost mm-hmm. my wife is the temple of the holy ghost my children are mm. and you are as well thank you and Jesus. you are sealed by god his name is upon you mm. no devil in hell can touch you hallelujah that's a seal thank a, you a Jesus. king the king of kings is sealed upon you hallelujah and i want to go to a, a different and my eyes and my heart oh yes on 17 it continues and no, says in verse 16 is it 16 yes yeah. and my eyes and my heart will be there perpetually perpetually yes hallelujah always always yes hallelujah glory to god Amen. and i want to sh- i want to turn to the new testament hallelujah i want to show you a powerful you, scripture Jesus. where in acts of apostle 4 mm-hmm. you know we sometimes read on and go on but you know there is a powerful message in Thank that you, acts Jesus. of apostle 4 where people were uh, the disciples and the believers were asked not Thank to share you, the gospel mm-hmm. so they were like uh like this placed in a room not allowed to go out and share anything mm-hmm. about Christ anything mm-hmm. about the belief mm-hmm. what they have in their heart mm-hmm. anything about Jesus Christ mm-hmm. and what they did was they gathered together and they prayed and you can read from uh, uh, acts of apostle 4 uh, chapter 4 verse 23 onwards and i want to read just 31 because you yeah. you you read please hallelujah uh from 23 but in 31 the bible says that and when they prayed and when you pray hallelujah. and when you pray the place where you are assembled together mm-hmm. will be shaken yes 
Glory to God. Amen. That's why prayer is important. Prayer with your family is important. Yes. Prayer with as a corporate church is important. Hallelujah. Because when we pray together, and that's the reason why devil comes to knock the people by giving deceptive mm. words, saying mm. that, hey, you, why mm. do you need to pray? You can mm. sit at home in a corner mm. and just pray. You don't need to gather. You don't mm. need to be with your family together to pray. Mm. You can pray in a room. Yes, that's important. You alone, yes, but Hallelujah. together. It's very powerful. Why? Yes, you can Lord. read this. Together. When they prayed together, that place was shaken. Hallelujah. And everybody were filled with the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. And everybody spoke the word. Nothing else but the word. And what word were there? The word of God. Hallelujah. And with the boldness. Yes, amen. As you were teaching today, that amen. boldness amen. To, to tremble over the serpents and scorpions. Yes. A, it's a special boldness. Hallelujah. It's a special boldness. You can you can go through the Acts of Apostles and you can see the boldness they had. Yes. So we are not we will never be attacked by the corona. <laughs> what Amen. silly corona can do us. Amen. It is impossible, Hallelujah. not just anything, but when we stand. So let Hallelujah. us pray. Hallelujah. Prayer is important. Thank it you, is very Jesus. important. Yes. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us all raise Thank up you, our Jesus. hands. We are not doing this as a ritual. Thank you, Jesus. We are in his dwelling place. Yes, Lord. In his secret place. Yes, Lord. With him. Yes, Lord. And we are, we Thank know you, Jesus. that Jesus is with us. Thank you, Jesus. That is the promise he has given. Thank you, Jesus. And the promise giver is so faithful. Yes, hallelujah. He is faithful. To the ends. Yes, Lord. He has, he has said that Thank you, even Lord. this earth may fall away. Hallelujah. But his words, the promise mm -hmm. he has kept. Hallelujah. He will keep it. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this kind of boldness. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for this Hallelujah. kind of protection. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for this covering, oh Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We cannot get it from this world, this kind of yes, boldness. Jesus. You cannot. Yes, Lord. But through your Jesus. spirit, O oh Lord God, Jesus. this boldness is amazing. Yes, Lord. That we can sleep while the storm hits outside. Yes. Like our Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We can sleep. Doesn't matter what kind Hallelujah. of storm it is. Hallelujah. Doesn't matter what kind of thunder it is. We can sleep in yes. peace. And Thank when we Jesus. wake up and when we speak, Jesus, there will be peace. Yes, Lord Jesus. Peace that surpasses yes, all peace, understanding. Peace. Peace. peace Nothing Jesus. will touch us. Peace. Nothing will touch your people. Peace in Jesus. It is impossible. Yes, Lord. That your people are your people can be touched by the darts of the devil Jesus. when Jesus has sealed his name upon every person. Yes, it is impossible. Lord the Jesus, devil, when hallelujah. he comes close, immediately he knows what kind of house and who owns that house. Hallelujah, Jesus. Our hallelujah. body is the temple of the Most High. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit dwells in us, hallelujah. dwells in you. Hallelujah. Never doubt it. Hallelujah. That doubt is from the devil. Hallelujah. He is trying to come and deceive you Thank and take you, you out. Jesus. But you stand strong yes, in that promise. Yes, Lord Jesus. That the one who baptizes you, not only baptizes you with fire, Hallelujah. but he baptizes you not only with the liquid fire, but with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. He's the one who, he, who you, gives Jesus. that Holy Spirit to you and he has given it. Thank you, Jesus. And you are covered and you are filled by this yes, Holy Spirit. Lord he Jesus. is not an ordinary spirit. He's Thank the one you, who Jesus. raised Jesus from the dead. Yes, Lord. He's dwelling in you. Thank you, Jesus. If he is for you, ah, who can be against, who can be against you? Amen. No devil in hell, don't yes, no demonic power, no darkness yes. has right to come to your house. Yes, Lord Jesus. Because you belong to Jesus Christ. Jesus, hallelujah. Father, I pray. Yes, Lord. We pray, we stand together. Yes, we Lord pray, Jesus. O Lord God, an immense power and authority Thank be you, upon your people. Hallelujah. Let the boldness, boldness like, you, like a lion of tribe of Judah, yes. come upon every person. Yes, the spirit of boldness. Yes. 
come yes. upon every person, yes, oh Lord God. Yes, Lord Jesus. That Hallelujah. whatever they think that it is a loss or it is it's common trying to rob their peace in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, because your sons and daughters stands in that boldness, yes, Lord. that thing which was coming to destroy or touch them, yes, to Lord. take them away from the presence of God, yes, will be Lord. destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ yes, of Nazareth. Lord we Jesus. cut the darkness away. We cut that that uh, demonic power yes, away in the name Lord. of Jesus yes, Christ of Nazareth. Yes, Lord Jesus. Father, yes, we pray Lord. peace. Yes, in Jesus. Joy. Lord. Yes, Lord. And the boldness in the Holy Ghost. Yes, hallelujah. Upon your people. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Father, we pray that this nation will rise up. We pray that this nation will be blood washed. Yes, in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes, Lord. This nation will not only recover from all these viruses, all this darkness and powers of principalities, yes, but Lord. we call upon sons and daughters of this nation. Yes, Lord Jesus. Should come back yes, to the Lord. master. Jesus. Should come back to the savior. Jesus. To come back to the Father, Jesus, in the name Lord. of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Like this nation has sent many Hallelujah. evangelists, many mm -hmm. preachers to different nations. Yes, Lord. It's not too long. I mean, it's 50 years, or 60 years, or maybe yes, 100 years before. Yes, Lord Jesus. It happened from this land. Yes, People Jesus. Hallelujah. left the family, left mm -hmm. the nation. Mm -hmm and went to different parts of the world to mm -hmm. preach the gospel yes. and let that happen in this place oh lord god thank let this jesus land come up Hallelujah. come up oh, in the name of father, jesus christ we, of Nazareth. You, jesus. we pray for for all the leaders mm -hmm. we pray for the uh, for the royal family yes lord protection yes. only your protection even the doctors they're doing the best yes. but they don't have the uh, mm. the the answer but you we know one doctor. Answer. Yes, Lord. We know one healer. Yes, yes. yes Master, we pray a supernatural, supernatural turn around turn upon turn all the people, young and old who yes, are affected, young and old. Even we don't want to lose any old people, elderly people. Yes, Lord. We don't want young and old. Yes. Even if we ask, oh Lord God, their soul, we ask, they let them come back. If so, they have not received you, Je Jesus Christ so, as their Lord and Savior, so, we ask them to come back so that they will hear. Souls, that news souls, before they go souls. back go we ask souls, oh lord god souls 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 from this nation yes father we pray for all the leaders who are taking decisions yes lord for this land yes. we pray wisdom let them yes. not take any foolish decisions yes. that will affect the people of this land yes, affect lord. the economy of this land yes. affect the strength of this land yes, we pray lord. wisdom godly wisdom yes lord let there be joseph who stands up People like Joseph, oh Lord God, Jesus, in the parliament. Jesus, Jesus. Let them, let the uh, politicians, Jesus. let them see that they can't do anything Jesus. but to turn towards you, oh Lord God. Yes, Lord. For the answers. Hallelujah. So they will believe in you. Yes, Lord Jesus. Father, we pray for all the church and church leaders yes, and church Lord. people. Hallelujah. Let them not be deceived and taken away, yes, Lord. but let them be strengthened together. Yes. And wherever they are as a family and whenever all these things are lifted up and oh, when all the churches you. gather together let the place be shaken yes Lord for Jesus. you let the place thank be shaken you, and let the people see yes, there Lord. is one savior who is only only one who we can yes, rely on Lord Jesus. and that is you holy spirit thank that is you, you our beloved jesus christ yes Lord. we thank you we praise you yes Lord. we love you lord thank you thank jesus. you jesus hallelujah today together as a family we are about yes. to participate in this communion. Amen. It is only Jesus, only Jesus who Hallelujah. can sacrifice like this. So Amen. when we take this bread, Amen. which is the, which represents the body of Jesus Christ, which is Amen. broken for us. Amen. When we partake this, Amen. we remember the sacrifice he did yes, 2000 years Lord ago. Jesus. And thank we will remember you, it till his second you. coming. Yes, so we bless this bread. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus name. Yes, Amen. Lord. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. This cup, which represents the blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Father, we pray and thank, thank you for you, this precious blood of our Savior. We know that this is an amazing, powerful sacrifice it was. Mm -hmm. It's all because of our grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. And he shed the blood on the cross mm -hmm. for us. 
we take this cup which yes. represents the blood of Jesus Christ yes lord and bless it and we will remember that sacrifice yes, to lord. his second coming we bless this cup amen glory to god hallelujah hallelujah we glory bless you in the name of the lord jesus yes. christ we pray the choicest blessing of heaven over your life yes we pray the supernatural hand of god cover you and protect you yes we bind and arrest every function of the red dragon every function of the spirit of coronavirus in the name of jesus christ of nazareth in the name of jesus name christ of, jesus. of nazareth we come against every third of the fallen angels demonic every. spirits every spirit of satan every spirit of satan yes. serpent evil spirit that comes against the church comes against your people we bind and rebuke in jesus name yes every ploy of the assignments of satan we cut off from the lives of everyone that's watching in the name of jesus we speak peace we speak joy we speak life yes into your life i thank you for the blood of jesus thank you for the blood covenant yes we bless you in jesus name amen 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 amen, 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 amen. hallelujah 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 so it is good night from us here be blessed as you sing along to this wonderful song I've got a river of life flowing out of me It makes the lame to walk and the blind to see It opens prisons doors sets the captives free I've got a river of life flowing out of me I've got a river of life flowing out of me It makes the lame to walk and the blind to see Sets the captives free. I've got a river of life flowing out of me. Spring up, oh well, within my soul. Spring up, oh well, and make me whole. Spring up, oh well, and give to me that life abundantly. I've got a river. Explain to walk and the blind to see. It opens prison doors, sets the captives free. I've got a river of life flowing out of me. Spring up, oh well, within my soul. Spring up, oh well.